fillings inside. Delicious. Go for a try. This train station. <laughs> safely made it to the boarding gate and I'm really proud of myself and actually the process is a lot more easier than I thought because you literally just have to follow the signboards and when you don't know anything you just ask someone because it's the first time I'm actually taking a flight on my own and I was pretty nervous and I also told my friend that I was pretty nervous but everything turned out okay so right now it's 5pm and my flight is actually only going to depart at 7pm and I have one whole hour to spare so what I'm going to do now is I'm probably just going to listen to a podcast or do some journaling and I can't wait to see my friend because I'm going to transit at Singapore and that's when she's going to board the flight as well. Okay da. Say my friend pretty. I'm pretty. You're pretty. We are finally here in Japan. And we're gonna need to get our luggage. It's actually much colder than expected. And this was the plane that we boarded yesterday. It's currently 9, 17 degrees now, which is quite cold because I expected it to be. Malaysian weather, but it's not. Oh my god, my panel is very clear! Is it not? Oh my god, it's a bit better. Me and Chen Yuan are super hungry, so we're going to get something to eat. We can eat one time. A1 guy, this is so good. Oh, I've been so long, I've been so long. It's a very unique smell. Yes. We've found it. Now we are going to get a Suica card for both of us. It's basically a card shape in Japan. Please select the desired character. Ah, three thousand. Please insert money credit card. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Got the un unlocked. Thank you. Very nice. Yeah, this card. Now, now. Let's give a review of the train. What do you think? You see why? I think it's shaking too much. Yeah, it's yeah. worse than the plane. Correct. Like I tried to sleep, but I just feel like it's shaking. Yeah, and now we're still continuing to shake, so we're going to shake all the way to Shinjuku. <laughs> we're going to shake one hour. Oh my god, I think people will be scared to take this train out <laughs> But it's very fast, right? It's yeah. the fastest one. I think the price is actually reasonable. It's just, I hope that uh, it won't shake that much. <laughs> yeah, maybe it will get better soon. Uh. We will update oh, you all if it gets better. <laughs> Now we have to walk another 12 minutes and we will finally reach our hotel. So now me and CY already put down our luggage and excuse me for my super oily face. We are now heading to eat lunch and we plan to try Apuri Ramen. But before this, we are going to stop by one of the family marts to check out the family mart basically and also to get water because we are damn thirsty. So yeah. than the ones in Malaysia because it's not too sweet. It's actually pretty good but I think I might be able to find a better one from other brands. Yeah. 
okay, 它绝对比康贝好吃。It's definitely nicer than Kanbei. Because I'm going to eat it. 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 Because I'm probably gonna skip my nap because I usually want to take a nap, but I don't think it's necessary right now because I feel damn good after the shower. So yeah, we're gonna go there, and then after that, we'll probably shop around again and eat dinner, whichever comes first. So yeah. Chengyan is helping us get tickets. It's basically five hundred yen per person. Hey, it's like Look, she's one row, one row. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So, so far, me and Siwa have been walking in this garden and we feel like we haven't actually saw a lot of flowers so I wonder what this garden actually has other than trees but okay, the trees are actually very well kept and it looks really nice and we actually see a lot of people having picnics over here and probably the locals also had to pay 500 yen to come in so I think this garden is a pretty good garden because even the locals come here so yeah, I, I would think it's a really nice place to chill
and a petite friends. Oh, kai sing, kai sing. <laughs> Oh, the waiter was really nice. I don't know if he was a waiter or a chef, but he also offered like if you want to top up soup and rice, you can top up one more time. So it's super, super worth it. But although like it's quite expensive, lah, because after conversion, it's like hundred Malaysian ringgit. Is it hundred? Uh, I think it's around uh, hundred, yeah, hundred. Malaysian ringgit. So it's not cheap. I think this one is more tender because it's more fat. Yeah, the moussa is kind of bigger for fat. Oh, good. Overall, highly recommend this place. It's really, really good. See why it brings. I just found this makeup remover sheet and it's literally half price over here. It's like double, no, it's like quadruple the amount for the same price. This is amazing. So I'm gonna get one of these because I don't have eyeliner and I'm just gonna go for the brown black one. Okay, so I guess I'm getting this. Because my back is giving me a bit of problems and I can't find like the exact cooling gel that my Cairo uses but I'm probably just gonna settle for this because I think this is also a sticker that like gives a cooling effect and yeah, I'm just gonna try it. It's the second day today and me and Cheng Yuan are going to get some breakfast and after that we're going to go to the Imperial Palace and today we're going to visit two Pokemon stocks which I'm very excited about. That's why I have my Togepi top with me. So yeah. not bad but I don't know whether it's better than the normal salmon rice ball you get what I mean it's nice as well ah. but I think it has more fillings inside I don't know, it even has tuna mayo actually and there's luncheon meat and there's egg inside but it's probably more expensive lah this is probably like 300 yen so yeah it's not bad Worth a try actually if you come because I don't think you can find this in Malaysia. Oh my god. Basically, what happened here is that the Imperial Palace, if you want to visit this place, you must actually book a guided tour. And the only way you can book a guided tour, I believe, is you have to come here an hour beforehand to book the thing because it will close up. So, right now, it is 9.24 Okay, so now me and Siwa have nothing to do here We're just gonna look around She says the trees are very pretty I'm like, okay, it's well groomed but you know, they are, they are trees So basically, <laughs> we are gonna just walk around And then after this, we are gonna go to a Pokemon Center Because we came all the way here and we did manage to look at Imperial Palace But at least we can see the buildings from outside I guess But you know, it's still better to be able to go in So if you want to come to the Imperial Palace, make sure you actually come here early to get a spot because the tour starts at 9.30 and it's 9.20 now, it's already full You can see the buildings from over there I'm literally like finding buildings for you to look at and somewhere over there This train station looks really really grand And this is basically I think it's just for us to press only basically. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 
Since you guys is impressed by the rain. Yeah, we're impressed now. Any experience sharing? This will be great for Malaysia. Yeah. I don't know whether I want to spend 3,000 yen to get this or not. This lot of mountains, right? So cute. So cute. Have you ever seen this? Like, Pokemon. 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 God, this is so freaking cute. Oh my god! This is my horoscope! This is the Kirby horoscope. Cyrus 那边也是对，可是可是这个更可爱，这个更可爱，因为这个不一样。哎，这个cute，Cameron collection，哇，这个。Let me give me you a review of what I think about Jun Ho Wu. I feel like Jun Ho Wu didn't have a lot of things, or maybe it's just because we're not really hardcore anime fans. So now we are in this shop called Koto Bu Kuya. I think I spelled it. I think it's correct. So yeah, we're in this shop now, and it seems to have more interesting things. She's basically trying to help her friend buy something like from One Piece and also I think One Punch Man. So here we are in our anime little hut. This would be so cute actually. But oh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna get actually. Or should I just get this instead? At least these has more characters that I want. The characters for this are these over here. So I'm not too sure what I want right now. Hmm. You guys, I just found an Anya doll. I'm not sure if I should just get this instead. This is like 500 yen. It's not too bad. This is like literally less than 20 bucks. So. I'm not sure if I should get it. It looks like this one anyways, so... Just for a keepsake. This is very good. You need to try KFC. 
in Aki, Akihabara. So good, thanks to CY. We are here at the Pokemon Center. So many people here. This is so that is so oh my god, it's so so soft, but this is like 4950 yen. That's 5,000 yen is how much? I can't do the math, but it's really expensive, okay. <laughs> Oh my god, my friend actually wants a Jirachi toy. I'm gonna ask him if he wants this toy. It's freaking 3,289 yen. I'm not sure if he wants it. So we are done going to Pokemon DX Town. Me and CY think that it's not as as impressive as I thought it would be. But we're gonna go Tokyo Style Tree now, and we're gonna go to the Pokemon Center there because I'm gonna try to get the limited edition toy, which is a Pikachu riding on top of a Rayquaza. So I'm pretty excited for that, and I hope it will look more impressive. Okay. There's so many freaking people in this Pokemon Center. Cute! Oh my god, thank you! Thank you! Honestly, I'm not sure if I should get this Kirby toy over here. I'm not really sure even how much is it, but I feel like a Kirby souvenir shop is really hard to come by and Kirby has been my one of my favourite childhood games from Nintendo, so I'm not sure. Should I spend more money to just get another plushie? I don't know. This is Tokyo Sky Tree Dice. Creamy这个会比较多油，对我觉得你的是少油的那个。那个我看得出这边油会比较多，我觉得啦。所以现在什么差别？也可能你的是Creamy，你的是很多油一下。哦，你的是Creamy，嗯，你的很好吃，你要
Okay guys, so we're back in our hotel right now and I'm going to remove my makeup and after that go shower. So I think like I just want to talk about the time at Aki, Akihabara because like I feel like that whole segment is probably a bit messy and I didn't really talk about my thoughts when I went there. Overall, I think it's really a good place to go if you like anime but if you don't know anime at all, probably it will bore you to go over there. And I guess the most helpful thing I can do now is probably rank all the anime shops from which I think are the nicest and which I think are good for certain things. So I feel like my favourite shop is probably the Mulan shop, Mulan anime shop. I think it's called Mulan anime. Is it called Mulan anime? Mulan, eh, you know, okay, it's called M Mulan Akiba. So I feel like that shop, even though it's uh, not doesn't look as fancy, I feel like it has the most reasonable price and it has the most things. That's why I managed to get my Anya doll and also my Anya mystery box over there. And then I think my second favorite shop would be Animate because Animate, I think they have another few outlets. But the reason why I like it is because it has a good variety of. Anyways, because we noticed that some of the anime shops, not some, most of the anime shops only like sold merchandise for animes that are really recent like Demon Slayer and Jujutsu Kaisen. So I would think that anime has one of the best varieties. They have a little bit of everything. So it's good if you want like merch from older animes. Like I even saw, I think I saw merch from, uh, okay, I can't bring it now, but basically you have a really good variety. Oh yes, we saw much from even from Conan, I think. So, which is not what other shops had. And also, I think the other thing that I liked was... I forgot the name, but it was the one with a lot of... I will just put the name over here. It was the one with a lot of Pokemon line boxes. But I feel like that, actually, in hindsight, it's not really special if you're going to go to a Pokemon center. So, but that's a bit more commercial. It looks a bit more expensive. But anyways, if you want, like, those anime models when you put it on the table then I think the best shop is the shop that we visited before anime like if you go back to my clips I feel like that shop has a lot of models for you to put on your table but other than that they don't have anything much but I feel like a lot of people are into it that's why they have so many of these kind of models so yeah I think that's my my take on Akihabara would I say I like it I think it's not too bad but I think it's only good for people who actually watch anime because if you don't watch any anime at all you'll probably be so bored looking at all the things especially when the animes are all just like the really new ones if you're not watching anything recently so yeah i hope you're enjoying the video so far good morning so today's the third day and me and shang are gonna try to get a spot in the pokemon cafe at the pokemon center that we went yesterday so let's hope that we get a spot but reminder, next time please do a reservation. Yeah, so you correct. need to do a reservation. Yes. It's just that yesterday when we went there, I noticed that for morning sessions, they indicate as uh, not occupied for yesterday. So I just want to try my luck because I know since I wanted to go. <laughs> Such a good friend. Guys, this is literally why I cannot get limited edition. Because I just don't want it bad enough. Look at all these people over here. They are literally lining up just to get into the Pokemon Center. That's crazy. What? guys so we went to the pokemon center again we didn't get a spot in the pokemon cafe and we realized that the toys over there are not restocked every day so the stuff is still really really little over there but right now we are lining up in this random restaurant that we found because we saw so many people lining up here and there's also a lot of people lining up in a restaurant or shop or whatever besides totally no idea what is that but for our one over here it's probably gonna be like sushi and i think they sell you Eel dishes, like manu, the eel dishes, right? Yeah, they sell like I think eel rice boxes. So I went to try a shop that sells like eel rice and everything. So I think we landed something that should be quite nice because there's a lot of people lining up here. So yeah. So this shop is pretty good because they have an English menu and they actually explain to you what is everything. So I find that really helpful. Thank you. 
能会想要去泰国吧，觉得，但我不敢自己一个人去泰国啦。对。你可以，你可以挂一下给我拍一下。挂吧，挂吧。哎、欸。哇，那个 boy 的很软。嗯。It's not really, you know, fishy 啦。It's not bad actually. But I still like mine more. Seriously, no chance of you actually taking a nice picture here. But welcome to one of the most like most Ning temples in Tokyo. This is called the Asa Kusa Sensoji. So basically, it's like Asa Kusa Temple. So I think this is one of the most popular temples in Japan, and you can see from the crowd that it's a very, very like. You know, a lot of people visit this place here, so yeah. And for me, I'm planning to try to get like a charm for me and each of my family members because I know in Chinese this place is like very, very like good for all these kind of charms and everything. And people normally like make a wish over here and they say it's really, really it's like you know it's very in Chinese it's called inning lah, so it's like very good place to like make your wishes come true or something like that. So I'm just gonna try my luck and just wish for everything I want. Get my lucky charms for me and my family. Sorry. Ah, you Sounds like a good number. Oh my god! Just in case, so you bad luck. It's okay to get bad luck. Side by side. Bye, Tian. <laughs> okay, got my charms. Hey okay, guys, so right now I'm in another part of the temple and it looks like this over here. And I just realized, me and my friend just realized that this is probably the place where Japanese actually go because it's so not crowded over here and I feel like everyone is actually like mostly their Japanese and also you get different charms over here. So I kind of regret getting all my charms from the other side because the ones here are also a bit different. I could have considered this but it's okay. So if any of you actually come to Asakusa Sensoji, the Asakusa Temple, then you can just, you know, take a visit here and see whether you like the charms here better. And honestly, here there's not so many people, so you can take your time to wish your things and everything. So, yeah. But right now, over here, I'm just getting a chop for one of my books because I'm planning to collect chops while I'm on this trip. So, I'm getting a chop for 500 yen on this temple right over here. We are here to get strawberry. Why do you buy what? Why do you buy what? So sad guys, the Daifuku is sold out. There's only drinks left. That's why all the visitors here are drinking drinks. But oh well, we'll find another place to eat after this. And put home. Thank you. 
Mm. Okay, I think this is quite worth a try. I think the outside is very nice, the crust. It's just that I would have liked it better if there's custard. But we only left with chocolate, sweet potato, or red bean. So we chose the red bean. that my matcha is melting. Hmm, it's good. Okay, the number I'm eating is number five. See why? How's your matcha? Mm. Nice. Okay, yeah. Wow, Liu Hao Zhen Wow, six you can really taste the matcha. I think five is like, like sweeter. I feel like. It's a bit like what you can find in Malaysia, but it's still nicer, the, the green tea taste. But six, you can really, really feel the matcha over there. And we decided not to get a flavor like seven because we felt like it would be too much for us. So yeah, I highly recommend. We waited, I think, nearly like 20 or 30 minutes for this matcha, not inclusive of our waiting time after getting the ticket. Wow, Honduran. I think I'm like indifferent so I guess we might not line up for it but yeah this is one of the touristy spots that you can check out like because there's a story beh behind Hachiko so like this is one of the touristy spots that you should check out probably Oh wait, it is kind of expensive. It's 100 ringgit. It's about 100 ringgit to have this nabezo course where you have all these meats over here and you get unlimited of vegetables, pork ingredients, rice noodles, all these kind of stuff for unlimited uh, amount. But the only thing that I feel like it doesn't match up to like uh, how worth it in Malaysia is that you only can choose one soup over here. So we choose this soup, yaki soup obviously because like I think this is like the must try soup in Japan. And then I realized right, for the drinks it's actually so worth it because if you look at this, all you can drink for all drinks is 1,500 yen. So right, actually if you convert 1,500 yen to Malaysia, it's about 50 ringgit. Eh? Yeah, 
price about 50 ringgit and you can drink all these drinks which is a lot of alcohol like sake fruit shochu wine and everything all for 50 ringgit which is really really worth it in my opinion Medium rare for me. So we're back in our hotel right now and I just want to wrap up my thoughts after visiting Shibuya city. I feel like it's definitely one of the busiest cities that we've been to because like, as you can see from the video clips of the of Shibuya crossing, you can tell that there were so many people and it's actually quite insane. The crowd that's quite insane. And I would say that the highlight of the trip is definitely the Disney store that we visited because I felt like all the deco there was really well thought out. And I can tell that the theme of the entire store was like Disney oriented like for example I think the, the final floor you can tell that it's like sort of like Beauty and the Beast sort of style because it's like so chandelier and everything and also like the second floor was actually I don't remember what was the second floor but it was really nice and even the stairways it was decorated with all the possible Disney themes so yeah I think that was the highlight of our Shibuya trip and also I think one of the highlights of our Shibuya trip was actually going to the hot pot place because aside from the okay personally I feel like the food there, in terms of side, the side dishes and everything like the vegetables and noodles, I would feel like the Malaysian kind of hot pots have more variety in terms of that. But I feel like for the price I paid, which I think is about 100 Malaysian ringgit, I think the beef was really good actually. Even though it wasn't wagyu beef, but I felt like the beef was pretty good in my taste, for my taste. So yeah, I really enjoy it. And just that, I think one of the things that we weren't very used to is like the sukiyaki that is a lot more thicker and the pot is also a lot more shallower. So it tends to be, the soup tends to be thicker and also saltier. So some people might not be used to it, but I think it's quite a good try. It still tasted really good as well. And I think another highlight that we had is we actually met a Malaysian waitress over there. So she was so nice. She actually taught us like how to prepare the egg mixture and everything to make it like, to bring out the taste of the beef. And she also taught us like how to like make the sukiyaki broth more flavorful and we actually have a really good chat like we asked her like why did she end up working here and everything so it was like a really nice feeling to meet somebody from your country over there and she actually recognized us because of our Malaysian accent so it was quite a quite a good night and everything so I would highly recommend anybody to go try and fun fact the steamboat that the hot pot that we tried is actually Actually, it came from the same same parent company as Momo Paradise. So, if you think you're a Momo Paradise fan, definitely come and try this hot pot. And also, maybe you will meet that Malaysian waitress as well. Don't know if you, you will still be there, but yeah.